In case you missed it, the annual Turning Point USA Summit took place over the course of the weekend and it featured conservative superstars such as uh, Lauren Boebert, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and even Donald Trump himself. Yes, very exciting. Now, there were a lot of different conservatives who showed up to support this. Libertarians, tradcons, you know, more far-right individuals, but most notably among the conservatives who showed up to support this event were Nazis. Literal Nazis with swastika flags and everything. They also had pro DeSantis flags, which is really interesting. One of them had a sign with DeSantis' face on it. So, yeah, it tells you a lot about DeSantis. They were yelling racial slurs at hecklers. And at the time that I record this video, DeSantis still hasn't condemned his Nazi supporters, which is weird because you'd think that somebody who's definitely not a fascist would speak out immediately and condemn them unequivocally. But we still haven't heard from DeSantis. Perhaps you'll hear something by the time this video goes up. But, you know, it's interesting that Nazis were drawn to a mainstream GOP event. Maybe that tells you just a little bit about the modern GOP party. But we're not going to talk about those fascists because I want to focus on one particular fascist who spoke at this event, namely Matt Gates. Now, he decided to give an argument against abortion in favor of banning abortion, to be clear. And it was very... Um, intelligence will say that facetiously but take a look at what he had to say you watched these pro-abortion pro-murder rallies the people are just disgusting like why is it that the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant are the ones most worried about having abortions nobody wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb these people are odious on the inside and out. They're like 5'2", 350 pounds, and they're like, give me my abortions or I'll get up and march and protest. And I'm thinking, march? You look like you got ankles weaker than the legal reasoning behind Roe versus Wade. A few of them need to get up and march. They need to get up and march for like an hour a day, swing those arms, get the blood pumping, maybe mix in a salad. I just want to remind you, that's a sitting member of Congress making an argument for banning abortion on the basis of whether or not abortion activists are attractive or not. Not citing data, statistics, nothing. I mean, this is why the country is in such bad shape, because so many people like that hold power. I mean, Matt, Matt Gates is a terrible individual, but he's a microcosm of a broader issue. Many Republicans are as vicious and disgusting as Matt Gates. And until all of these people are kicked out of office, then our country will continue to circle the drain. Now, first of all, it's bizarre because he used to be overweight himself. So for him to attack overweight people and to suggest that we shouldn't take the policy desires of overweight people seriously is really stupid. Um, and second of all, just imagine if a leftist made this argument. I don't think any leftist would support this. Imagine if Bernie Sanders said, we shouldn't have Medicare for all because fat people like Medicare for all. It'd be an incredibly idiotic argument, but we wouldn't have to talk about the aesthetic of the supporters of particular policies. We wouldn't have to talk about, you know, their body type or how they dressed because we support this policy based on data, based on studies, based on facts. But because conservatives have nothing, he decides to pretend to be a stand-up comedian and claims that, like, Overweight people support abortion, so we shouldn't worry about it. I mean, it's not just overweight people. The overwhelming majority of America supports abortion. And this is such a bizarre argument because there are overweight people on the left and the right. So you're being a dick and alienating more people than you need to. But this is just who Matt Gates is. His career is dying. Nobody takes him seriously. So that's why he resorts to things like this. Desperate attempts to, you know, grab headlines. Now, following these disgusting comments, far-right news outlet Newsmax reported on what he said, saying Florida Representative Matt Gates blasted abortion activists activists in a rant sure to raise the dander of his political opponents. Now, Matt Gates then responded to that particular tweet by taking the profile picture of a 19-year-old abortion rights activist named Olivia Giuliana and tweeted, dander raised to his 1.4 million Twitter followers. Now, before I show you her response, just pause for a moment. This is a sitting member of Congress. Again, like we have to reiterate that point because it's important. Doing targeted harassment of a 19-year-old activist so he can I guess, prove his point that some people who are in favor of reproductive rights are overweight. 
There are skinny people, fat people, medium-sized people, people of all stripes who support reproductive rights because most Americans, contrary to what Matt Gates would uh, have you believe, they're not monsters. They support abortion rights because it's the right thing to do. But he's basically telling all of his 1.4 million Twitter followers, go attack this person, go harass them because they're overweight. Uh, overweight. It's so disgusting. Again, targeted harassment by a sitting member of Congress. This is where we're at in the United States of America. But thankfully, um, this attack actually blew up in his face because what I had initially feared was that a lot of his gross little fascist followers would attack uh, Olivia. But instead, most people rallied with her and the rebuttal that she came back with was just brutal. So she wrote in response, am I not a little too old for you, Matt? I know you have a thing for targeting teenagers, but 19 is on the cusp, don't you think? Now, she also uh, said, my rule is if you're going to attack me for my looks, you better be hotter than me. And to be blunt, Matt Gates is one of the ugliest things to crawl out of the pits of Florida. Now, she also replied to his original post with her original tweet, adding, I'm sorry, you're 5'7". God damn, absolutely brutal, but 100% warranted now he has 10 times the followers that she does but yet she ratioed him into oblivion his original tweet where he attacked her got 1200 likes whereas hers got 34,000 likes and every one of these tweets that she made got more likes than his so even matt gates's own followers presumably saw that tweet and they thought this is just kind of gross or perhaps they thought okay maybe i agree with you but at the same time, this isn't the best way to make our pro-life arguments. Yeah, that's Matt Gates. Now, it's worth noting that she referenced the investigation of Matt Gates, And I think that um, it's worthwhile to kind of go over that to give you a recap on what Matt Gates is being investigated for by the FBI. For the breakdown, we go to Newsweek, who explains the federal investigation into Gates was reportedly opened in the final months of the Donald Trump administration as a result of a previous investigation into a political ally of the Florida congressman, Joel Greenberg, who pleaded guilty to sex trafficking. Over a year later, investigators are still trying to determine determine whether Gates had sexual relations with an underage girl and paid for her to travel with him across states considered sex trafficking under federal law. Only a few details of the investigation have been leaked so far. Gates has not been charged with any crime. The Washington Post reported that Gates used to set up dates with women in exchange for dinner or hotel stays, something that could be illegal if there was a clear exchange of money for sex. The newspaper also reported that Greenberg wrote a letter directly accusing Gates of paying for sex with women. The Daily Beast reported that Gates transferred money to the equivalent of $900 to Greenberg on Venmo, saying hit up blank using a nickname for the 17-year-old. So that's what Olivia was referring to. So, you know, if Matt Gates wants to talk about odious people, I can't think of anyone more odious than an adult who allegedly preys on 17-year-old children. That is as gross and morally reprehensible as you can be. But Matt Gates is lowering the bar even further, I guess. I don't even know what he's trying to do here because even Republicans seemingly aren't enjoying what he's saying because it's just, it's a bad argument. It's an objectively bad argument if you are a forced birther. I mean, this isn't the case you want to make. Don't you want to kind of focus on protecting life? I mean, sure, that argument is bullshit, but it's better than just saying, oh, well, we shouldn't have abortion rights because abortion rights activists are fat and ugly. I mean, it's incredibly childish like we're talking about middle school bully type bullshit here but this is matt gates this is what you get with the gop up yours up yours up yours sons of bitches 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 woke moralists the dream i saw my maternal grandmother she was stroking herself absent-mindedly i let her have her way the genital region was exposed i let her have her way